Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. Today, we're going to look at the most mysterious location in all of Red Dead Redemption 2, and that is Mount Shan. We do have to bring in a special guest to help us out. What is happening, Amy? Thanks for joining up for today's video. Hey, everyone. Boy, do you meet Jay here. I'm glad to be here. Can't wait to deep dive into some of these mysteries. Yeah, we have a lot to talk about when it comes to Mount Shan, and as you can see, we're actually going to start off a little bit far away from Mount Shan at this frozen couple, but make sure to stop by Amy's channel. She is an Irish Red Dead Redemption 2 treasure hunter. She's not even at a thousand subs yet, so she'd really appreciate it. She definitely has some good videos and some big videos on the way. So here we are. We got the poor frozen couple. They died in each other's hands, probably getting frostbite. But let's read the note. This is where you can find the panoramic map, and it leads to a hidden symbol which is on Mount Shan. Now, some people think they have it, you know, solved, or at least they know exactly what the panoramic map is trying to tell us. But the fact is, the game has not really activated anything with the panoramic map, and it will spawn in different locations. So there's multiple locations where you can find this couple. So it seems to be something important. Amy, what can you say about the panoramic map? It seems to be that they were trying to, like, uncover places, maybe a new place to live trying to follow the stars or something to see where to go yeah it does correlate to the red dead redemption 2 game world we'll show you where on mount shan you can see the exact panoramic map location we'll look at all the biggest mysteries and biggest secrets on mount shan so much love guys make sure to hit the like button sub to the channel if you are new we got a big live stream coming up later on tonight with that said we will meet you guys on mount shan we'll see everything's gonna be Terrible! I probably should have worn more than just a dumb cape! Here we are. Now you can see the main path of the mountain heads down towards Strawberry, but instead you want to come off to the side. You can see this part right here. If you hug the wall, it'll lead you to the hidden symbol from the panoramic map. But the big difference is this one has some sort of north star. You can see that there's a star. It is pointing towards the southwest that is not on the panoramic map, but you can find this symbol with all the, you know, the arrows pointing to the major towns. This, of course, is on the panoramic map, and you can find the actual ledge where the panoramic map points right here on Mount Shan as well. But what do you think about that star, Amy? I feel like that's a huge clue here, probably telling us, you know, what the panoramic map is really meant to be. Yeah, I agree. I think the star could be where we have to go to to actually solve this mystery once and for all. So if we can actually figure out where we need to get to, to get to where that star is in the map, we could be onto something. We'll maybe uncover this mystery somehow. Yeah, this is the actual ledge. Now you can see this landmark right here. Um, that is the two rocks right in front of us. You see that? So this is definitely where the panoramic map, I guess, was made or at least is mapping out. And it looks like this is pointing towards Strawberry. That spot right there is Blackwater. You have Rhodes, Sandini. And I believe Van Horn. So it sends you to the different settlements. You know, back in these days, they really were pioneers. And like Amy said, you know, they were probably trying to find, you know, these brand new settlements by using the stars. But it is that main star from the panoramic map hidden symbol right here on Mount Shan that I believe still may be unsolved. One thing that I'm wondering, Amy, is that it seems like it's pointing us towards San Denis and the main towns from the first section of Red Dead Redemption 2. But the southwest of the map you know, where that star is pointing is back in New Austin, you know, where Red Dead Redemption 1 takes place. So do you think that the panoramic map might have anything to do with New Austin? Because it's hard to tell. Yeah, definitely. It could be something to do with New Austin. Like, it makes sense. It's pointing down that way. If we go to New Austin, we could end up discovering something. Maybe there's something down there that Rockstar's trying to tell us. Go here to find out what the panoramic map is. We're also going to look at the sundial. And the sundial has the different arrows pointing off in the different directions. But none of those directions point back towards New Austin, for what it's worth. Now here we have the giant's remains. So is this Bigfoot? Is it something else? Let's inspect the bones. Amy, what can you tell us about the giant's remains? What is your theory on what this is? Well, I do think it could be a giant, but it also could be an alien. I know it has sort of a human skull there and skeleton, but... I don't know, how do we know what aliens look like? We've never seen one in real life before, so we can't say that they're small and green always. They could be huge. So yeah, it could be an alien. What do you think, RJ? 
Yeah, my first idea was, you know, maybe a Neanderthal. People that came long before us normal-sized humans, I guess. But uh, you did mention the aliens, and we have the UFO that is on Mount Shan. You know, that seems to be another almost dead-end mystery. We have the two UFOs. I'd sure like to find an alien uh, here in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm not sure if this is one of them. Is it an alien or is it a Neanderthal? Um, what about that man that you can talk to? Um, you know, it's up at the north section of the map. He's in the cave. You don't actually see him. And I think he mentions that he's some sort of a giant. Do you think that that might be connected? Yeah, that could be. Maybe this is his friend that has um, wandered off and died or something. We never know. There's lots of mysteries up in the snowy areas of the map for sure. I think it's interesting that giant. You can talk to him. He kind of seems sad. Maybe he's sad he lost his friend. Maybe this is his friend here. Yeah, that's a good point. I think they also mentioned that Gavin is tall. Uh, this guy is certainly pretty tall. But look at the hair. I mean, maybe that is going to discredit any kind of alien theory, because I don't know of any aliens that have hair that looks like Tom Cruise or something. Uh, maybe Harry from Dumb and Dumber. But there you have it. The one thing that stands out to me, it almost looks like a human haircut on top of the giant's remains. There's also a secret location from Grand Theft Auto V that has a skull, this ram skull, that looks very similar. So it makes me wonder if Rockstar is doing some sort of a deeper Easter egg or reference you know what those giants remains definitely let us know what you think in the comments section below all right so the next place we have to visit right here on mount shan is the sundial one thing that they recently added to the sundial is a treasure location so you can find the obelisk uh, which is also in big valley that leads you on a treasure hunt there's a treasure map that they have added for the pc version of red dead redemption 2 so you find the treasure map it leads you to all these mysterious locations eventually leading you to the top of mount shan and the sundial so uh, you know it just makes me wonder what this sundial is about Amy the fact that it's pointing to different locations and Rockstar has just recently added more to the mystery you know with that treasure location um, do you have any theories or any thoughts on the sundial that you can give us I'm wondering is it maybe you can find treasure in story mode as well by figuring out the sundial maybe you get some sort of reward like a couple of gold bars or something but then I'm thinking that's too small. It has to be something bigger. Would Rockstar really just add something so mysterious into the game just for treasure? I don't know. Yeah, it definitely seems like it might be something unfinished. The fact that they released it without the treasure map. I'll put a link in the description if you don't know which treasure map I'm talking about. Again, it was released for PC. It is now available for us on console as well. There's a couple new treasure maps. And I think some people don't know that there's actually new content in single player that they released for PC that is available on console. And of course, some of that new content involves the sundial here. If you don't have the special edition guidebook for Red Dead Redemption 2, that is what calls it the sundial. So you might not even know that it's even a sundial. All right, this part could be tricky. Get up, who farted? Okay, so we made it. Here's the sundial. It points off into different locations, different arrows. And of course, just up ahead, as the bald eagle flies by, there's the UFO spawn location. We'll show you that in a moment. Do you think the sundial might be, you know, involved with the aliens? Because I really do think it's pointing out some of the bigger mysterious locations in the game, you know, with the arrows themselves. Yeah, for sure. It could be aliens. Also want to point out, isn't there colors on the arrows as well? Different colors? Maybe it's something to do with the crack in the combination there with the colors, too. I think the UFO that spawns, it has sort of like a eerie red light to it as well if i'm not mistaken yeah the one here on mount shan the other one has a green light but yeah this one has multiple colors you might be right we'll take a look at it and see if they match with the colors of the arrows you can see this rock right here that is new that's the rock that you have to raise up to find the treasure i had not started up on this playthrough yet so that's why we cannot see it but here we are the tippy top of mount shan as i said I believe it to be the most mysterious location in the entire game, and one of the reasons is because of the UFO encounter. We'll show you that. Do you think that the giant is an alien that maybe was flying this UFO?
you could see some similar colors on the UFO, but it did look kind of tiny, so I'm not sure if that giant can fly around in that thing, but it definitely might be associated with the sundial found right here on top of Mount Shan. There's one other weird location a little bit further down, Amy. You can find a rock, which almost seems to be a sniper spot or something. It's right here, as you can find some ammo and some different things that are spread out right around it. So I'm not sure who is camped out right here. You got the compass, but there's something else mysterious going on on the mountain. Rifle cartridges. There's a sniper. What were they looking at? Have you ever seen this before, Amy? Yeah, I did come across it in my first playthrough, but it's been a long time that I actually forgot it existed. Maybe we saw someone might have been up here um, bird watching. Kind of looks like with the binoculars. Or maybe they were actually searching for aliens themselves. They were camping out. Maybe they got freaked out by the uh, UFO and thought they wanted to find out more, actually. That's a good call. Somebody going UFO hunting, alien hunting on top of Mount Shan. That's not too bad of an idea. So we have the second UFO. I know you've probably seen that first UFO, of course. Do you think that there's still going to be a third UFO somewhere out there? I mean, the sundial might be pointing that out, or maybe even the panoramic map. Yeah, a third UFO could definitely be a possibility. I know Rockstar likes to really tuck things away and hide them. They want to keep fans searching. And it has become one of the biggest mysteries in game, the third uh, UFO. It'd be awesome if we could find it here in the channel. Oh man, I definitely would love that. There's one last location on top of Mount Shan that we have to visit as Arthur rolls his way down. And that is the White Cougar, the legendary White Cougar. He has a cave that is right here. You got the Cougar Cave. It's pretty big, man. I feel like, other than the Cougar itself, probably goes unused. And we know that there's stories about UFOs and aliens living inside a cave. So perhaps they're living inside Mount Shan. I don't know. Any last thoughts, Amy? I really feel like, you know, with the mystery around the aliens and the UFOs, Mount Shan is at the heart of it. Yeah, definitely loads of mysteries you can uncover here. The Cougars would maybe scare off the aliens. I'm not too sure who would win that fight. <laughs> I'm taking the Cougars. Yeah. Here we are at a strange cabin that you can find near Emerald Ranch. When you come in here for the first time at night, the first UFO will come down and try to abduct you. You can find a note next to this dead guy. It is found under documents and then letters. The Mysterious Sermon. Now take a look at this. It says, At the second hour under the half moon, by the great love and grace of our savior Kukawaba, whoever that is, voyager of time and galaxies, we cast off our corporal shells so his vessel can take our spirits to the promised realm. Now this is all a big Easter egg, but the important part is right here when it says, When we will return for the new chosen and worship once again at the peak of Mount Shan. Kind of showing you that Mount Shan is the most mysterious location, maybe the one of the most important locations in the entire game, especially when it comes to aliens and UFOs. So what do you think, Amy? I mean, I feel like there's still something more to discover at Mount Shan, so this is a pretty important discussion for us to have, really talking about the many mysteries and unsolved secrets that you can find there at Mount Shan. Yeah, I think that the community should all come together and try to find some more secrets up there. There's definitely more to uncover. And it seems to be the part of the map that has the most alien activity. Very strange, and it's really interesting getting to talk about all this with you. And I would love to hear some of the people down below if they want to comment too. Absolutely. Much love, Amy. Really appreciate you joining up for the conversation. We got another big discussion in the works, perhaps a live stream as well, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget, sub to Amy, help her reach 1,000 subs, and join up with the Trippy Club here at the channel. We have a brand new club. Amy is part of it, and we got an exclusive Trippy Club video going up soon here at the channel. With that said, thanks again to Amy, guys. Stay tuned. We got more things happening later on tonight live here at the channel. So until the live stream and until the next video, as always, Amy, why don't you finish it off for us? Make sure to stay trippy. Y'all come back now, you hear?